It's Chris here from IFL TV, MTK Global, and with me I've got Bernard Rowe. Welcome, Bernard. Thanks, Chris. Uh, Bernard, uh, you're currently a light middleweight at 5-0. Yeah. Um, have you any upcoming fights? Yeah, I'm fighting Saturday week on the 2nd of December from the National Stadium in Dublin. Okay, can you tell me a wee bit more why you're down at the Chamber of Commerce today in Dublin? I'm here to support the Last Man Standing tournament and sort of shake a few hands and check out the competition and looking to get me get myself in. Now, for yourself, uh, if you were on the eight man lineup, who would, else would you love to be in that lineup with? Uh, well, Craig O'Brien is my gym mate, and uh, both of us are out there. And after being joking about it all week that if we got into it, that we could possibly have to box one another, so that'd be fun. How would you see that one play, mate? I don't know, I don't know. It'd be, uh, it'd be like a game of chess, because we spar twice a week with each other, we well, best mates. Ireland's last man standing is going to be running on a prize fighter format and basically it's going to generate a lot of national television uh, with the guys uh, Kaz was saying there's three uh, terrestrial television uh, stations putting it out who's going to be going for it but how can you see that um, develop in Irish boxing over the next couple of years? I think it's great because when Irish boxing was on Irish TV it, it, it was brilliant, everyone in the streets was talking about what boxing was booming and I think it's well overdue to get back on Irish television. I think with the format of this last man standing and with the way the prize money is set out where it's 20 grand for the winner and 5 grand for the, for the, for the runner up, it kind of gives people the incentive to go for the win and I think it makes for exciting fights. Uh, you're talking about the incentive, basically the guys have outlined that 5,000 euro will also go to the amateur club that mm. the winner has developed from. Yeah. Can you see that being a stepping stone for a lot of amateurs to progress with better equipment, better deliverance and better coaching at that level with terrestrial television, moving Irish boxing to the next level? Oh, definitely, yeah. So the amateur gyms are the future. That's where we've all came through. I came through Dublin Docklands Amateur Boxing Club and uh, five grand will make a big difference there. We saw the emergence of a lot of Irish fighters over the last couple of years. We have had world champion Andy Lee who was present today. Yeah. Uh, with Gary Spiegel Sullivan going to be fighting very soon in the undercard over in Quebec of the David Lumineau fight against Billy Joe Saunders. We've had Katie Taylor become world champion this year, Ryan yeah. Burnett double world champion, and previous to that we've had Carl Frampton and Belfast also become double world champion. Can you see Irish boxing as a whole taking off from just this event and others abroad? Ah, oh, big time, yeah. Irish boxing is growing all the time. We, it all stems from the amateur setup that we have here, and now more people are turning over because they see more opportunities now, and the Irish professional boxing scene is thriving all over. The world. The boxing scene has been threatened basically all over the world, uh, even in Australia with a uh, world title holder over there also. But we've also got uh, the re-emergence of Tyson Fury back in the gym over in Manchester. Uh, can you see Tyson getting back to the shape that he previously was and can you see him fighting at the highest level which he was previous to this? Definitely, definitely yeah. Um, before he had the setback. He was by far the best heavyweight in the world. And if he can get back to that level, I think he will be the best heavyweight in the world again. And uh, just on the last point, we have got a current boxer in Amir Khan in Emma Celebrity. Have you saw Emma Celebrity as yet? No, well uh, I've what, seen clips of him, I haven't seen much of him. What do you feel uh, in terms of uh, yourself if you were put in the jungle? Would you think you would last? No, not a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> I hate heights and spoilers. I wouldn't dream of going into it. Okay, Bernard, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and wish you the very best in your upcoming fight. Cheers, thanks, lads.